Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. It really helps me out. Uh, now we're going to start having some real fun here, alright? We're going to start making some crazy stuff. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. Because we're going to have a little system. Let me just tell you about the system. Alright, I promise I'm going to be quick. The system is that we're going to have an object or a class called the enemy spawner. All right, It's very regular in game programming. You have an enemy spawner and it has a bunch of different things that you can change. And depending on these settings, it will spawn enemies. Now, we'll, we won't place enemies on the map. We'll place enemy spawners on the map like an MMO. And once you come close to an enemy spawner, a timer will check if it's time to spawn. It will, then we'll spawn an enemy right there and that enemy will be put into the game in the game state or whatever state you're in in an active array called active enemies or something and that will constant, constantly be updated and every enemy will check how far it is from its original or origin uh, enemy spawner and if it's too far it will go back right that's how MMOs handle it pretty much and um yeah, there you go. So we won't place enemies like I said. We'll place enemy spawners and that will make sure our performance is great and we don't have too many enemies on screen at once and, and they will constantly be updated. But enemies won't be updated if they're on um, on their block, right? Or, the, or they're, you know, uh, outside of the screen or outside of whatever. They'll just be deleted or, or placed on the enemy spawner. If they're, if they're a certain amount of... Um, or certain... Uh, what do you call it? You know, if they're far enough away from their enemy spawner. Anyway, whatever. Let's just get going. So, the step number one. We don't have to care about any of that. Step number one is we need to add the enemy spawner class. And I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm just going to go ahead and... Where is the map? Okay, map. Tile and tile map. And I think that would pretty much be a tile. Doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and call it enemy spawner enemy spawner very 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 simple and I don't know if it's gonna be a tile in itself um, not sure we'll keep it like this anyway let's just create it okay that's always step one just go ahead and create it and we'll see um, there we go and then we're just gonna do if and def, all that stuff, you know, if an enemy spawner h underscore, please. Okay, I think there's some issue here. H define like that. Like that. And private seems like in this series all we do is create a bunch of classes but I guess a lot of you like that so I do definitely like that um, so here we go now what what is a tile okay so a tile in itself has a type a collision blah 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 all that stuff okay that's fine you know a tile map has a bunch of basically a bunch of tiles and let me just let me just think how it is and each tile has layers right layers 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 all that stuff very very interesting okay so the best course of action here would be actually to make this into a tile since this holds a tile um yeah and at that layer we're gonna put here we go here it is all right so it's just a little it's beautiful that end one is 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 empty. It's just layers on top of layers. Okay, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. We shall see. We shall see how we're gonna do that. Anyway, we don't need to care about that right, right, right now. What we need to do is we need to just set this enemy spawner up. Just very simply. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the editor in the coming videos and we're going to make sure we can place these. So I'm going to have to think, I'm going to look a little bit at it and I'm going to see what is the best, um, best course of action. 
okay but there are a few things you can do with the enemy spawner um probably what enemy we want to spawn right obviously uh, what type and i'm guessing we're gonna have enemy types here in our enemy class let's see how we built that it's nothing special right now we might have a type here and depending on the type we're gonna create that enemy um yeah but let's just start off with that let's just have an enemy type in type uh int amount okay that's great and then we're gonna have a timer thingy usually that is a um is an integer as well i think in milliseconds we'll see we'll see time to spawn we'll just call it that for now and then let me just see if i'm everything's okay here yeah okay time to spawn whatever uh amount and then maybe we'll have max distance how far away the enemy can run before it has to has to come back as usually should probably be a float since we're going to compare that to the positions and there we go all right let's just go ahead and set these up now for that to work we need obviously to have this enemy spawner also when we create it we probably want to create it at a position position in type mm, there we go and mount in time to spawn float max distance remember i always have this um this format for local variables that's why i did that so position type we'll just keep that for now we'll see enemy spawners like this and then all we have to do is this okay so each enemy spawner is pretty much going to have a position or rector 2f position as a vector 2i grid position as well probably going to need that also we're probably going to need the grid size for that or or nah 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 now nah, we won't need that grid position is good um pretty sure grid position we don't need position, pretty sure. Grid position. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Pretty sure grid position is all we need. For now, for now, like I said, doesn't matter. This grid position equals grid position. That's great. Grid position. Whoops. Uh, this type equals type this amount equals amount this time equals time to spawn probably that's going to be a time t but we'll like i said we'll get to that max distance equals max distance okay so we have now we have some some different right yeah Okay, uh, 2i, sorry about that, 2i, grid position 2i here as well. Okay, once that's done, we can spawn enemies. Now we're going to need a void update and a void render here as well. Const sf render target, because we might have to render these. Um, not const sf render target target okay no need for any shaders or anything here and updating these probably const float dt who knows might need that and a timer thingy we'll just keep that uh, good good like I said we have a lot of work to do so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be crazy all right so uh we need void spawn enemies or just spawn spawn is good void clear 
maybe. Um, clear. Uh, spawn, clear. And this, this will kind of keep track of the its enemies. I, I'm thinking that might be a good idea, actually. I'm thinking that might actually be a good idea. This The enemy spawner keeps track of all its own enemies. And it can delete them, it can call them back, it can do all that stuff, and everything will be fine. So I'm thinking that might be a little good idea. You know, this is when you're coding games like this, guys, I just want to say... There are a bunch of good solutions for each problem, okay? There's rarely one perfect solution for anything. And having it your way sometimes might be better for you. But, you know, learning different ways is always good, right? Um, so this is one of the ways you can do it. I know a lot of you are really smart, way smarter than me. Much, much smarter than me. And you'll probably have really good um, different, you know solutions for all of this but this is just my way i'm doing it might not be the best but i'm just i'm thinking of it you know so what am i gonna do with this i'm gonna include include enemy enemy dot h include what else did i want to include no that's pretty much it class entity class enemy Probably gonna use both of those. Uh, feeling feeling like that's a good thing. Okay, and it's gonna have SF. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking like this. I'm thinking like this. I'm thinking like this. It has enemies. Hmm. It's great if it keeps track of these. But that also causes a problem. Let's see, let's discuss. Okay, just sit down. Take your hands off your keyboard. Let's just discuss. All right. One thing we might, if we put it in the game state, if we spawn enemies in game state, what's good with that is we have all the enemies at the same place. We don't have to update all of these enemy spawners all the time. And, and usually we won't update them. You know what? You know what? Forget that. Forget that. We don't need to keep enemies in here. Okay. We'll keep this for now. We might need to use it later, but we, we won't do that. Actually, we will not do that. Enemies will have an enemy spawner okay you know what remove this enemies will have an enemy spawner pointer which will they will keep track of their own enemy spawner that's how it's gonna work okay that's how it's gonna work all right all right all right 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 that's great that's great okay that is so good um entity okay all right you know what roll with me Let's do this. Enemy spawner. Might work. Might work. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is going to work. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll see if that works. We'll see if that works. This might not work now because we're going to have a circular dependency because we have enemies pointing to enemy spawners and enemy spawners pointing to enemies. So that's going to be kind of weird. Uh, might not work. But we'll we'll see. We'll see how we do it. Anyway, once you do this, updating it's pretty simple. Nothing special in here. Rendering it, uh, this draw this, no, target. Uh, dot draw and we're gonna make a little temporary thing here for enemy spawners so we can just see where they are okay um, you know what let's go ahead and do it in here let's make a sf rick tangle shape just call it shape and we'll, we'll initialize it we'll just say shape very simple I just want to see where they are nothing else and to initialize the shape, let's just say this shape dot set size. All right. Um, grid position. Uh, let's see. Float grid size. We'll have a little grid size in here. Okay. Grid SF vector 2F grid size hopefully it can make that for me nope grid 
size. So sorry about this video being a little, you know, we discussed a lot of things, but I think it's good for you guys to see sometimes to uh, to see the thought process behind everything, that everything isn't really thought out from my side always. Usually, if you know me, you probably already guessed. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm trying. Um, so it's sometimes, you know, if we just sit and discuss together, or I pretend I'm discussing with you, because obviously you're not here right now, but I can read your mind, okay? So I know what you really want. And that's how I'm going to do it. That's how I'm going to do it. And I will do my best to give you the best solution I think possible for me. And hopefully that will be good enough. So there you go. Now we have our enemy spawner pretty much set up. Still very confused in how I'm going to do things. I don't know if this is going to point to that or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and how we're going to spawn things from enemy spawners. But. Yeah. Maybe tile map is going to have the spawn enemies function. And it will take care of everything for me. So that might not be necessary here. I'm going to remove those just so I don't get confused by it later. Oh, sorry about that. But I'm going to keep the enemy spawner pointer in enemy. Let's just make that before we go. Enemy spawner pointer. Enemy spawner. Okay. There you go. So it's just going to point to its own spawner or reference reference saying that we can't really create an enemy without an enemy spawner reference without having a parent so so and so so before we end the video let me just say enemy spawner reference enemy spawner okay and that will force me the, in the next video to actually come up with something you guys can use Okay, and init variables, it doesn't matter, init variables, let me put that into init variables as well, uh, this enemy spawner equals enemy spawner, um, no, you know what, that does not work, sorry about that, why are you watching my videos, why would you even watch my videos? Enemy spawner, enemy sp spawner. Come on. I know there's an enemy over there somewhere. Okay, there you go. Enemy spawner is enemy spawner. Boom. Now we're good. Now we're good. And that means in our game state, we can't actually create an enemy right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And hello, excuse me, what? Wait, 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 wait. Remove the test enemy completely. And remove the test enemy from the CPP file as well. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of problems. So I hope you're still watching. Remove that. Then there we go. All right, so just go ahead and remove all of these. All these test things that we created. All right, obviously it worked, so that was good. And remove this. All right, guys and girls. Boom. We're good. We're good to go. In the next video, I'm going to fix a few things in enemy. I want to make sure uh, it doesn't send in the light from its own center. So that kind of makes it weird. I'm going to try to get a new character sheet for this. And I'm going to try to make sure we can add these into tile map. And I'm going to find a good solution for that. But thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it was cool. Whew, we talked a lot hopefully that's okay as well and yeah just keep working hard if you got questions ask me on discord go ahead and join discord by the way it's really nice we've got a bunch of people there talking everyone's having a good time mostly just don't be an idiot on discord right or you're gonna get banned i'm sorry we're real nice people but we don't tolerate all that crazy shit but there you go hopefully i'll see you there and take care i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye